Vinod and Melisha have an unusual hobby. After a heavy day's work, I used to just sit in my balcony and just observe these bees. You know, it's very therapeutic. Homebound during COVID, they took to beekeeping in their apartment in Bengaluru. Bees are not pests. We have proven that they can be pests, but not pests. And today, the couple harvests around 14 kgs of honey each year. But more importantly, this humble bee has changed how they look at nature. If Bangalore has to be a garden city, a beautiful city, those flowers need to grow every year. They need to bloom every year and bees are important. So imagine a situation where bees just go out of Bangalore. It may no longer be a green city, by the way. Uh, my interest with bees started when I was in school. Uh, that is when we had a club there, a beekeeping club, and I was a part of that club. So I studied bees for almost a year and that fascinated me. Vinod returned to his old hobby of beekeeping during the COVID pandemic. He picked up a bee box from the University of Bengaluru. It was a spur of the moment decision. He was not sure how his family would react. So the day Vinod decided to bring in a bee box, it took us all by surprise because I've not really been fascinated by bees. I'm in fact very scared of bees and their stings. But the day a box came home, I think life changed for all of us as a family. Like our kids today are not scared of bees. They know how to spot bees. They can identify the varieties of bees. They know that bees don't harm them. They also understand that those bees that you have in apartments can be there and you can cohabit with them in the same environment. All around the world, there has been renewed attention and interest in the life of bees. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, around 40% of invertebrate pollinator species, particularly bees, face extinction across the world. In India, the honeybee population has been declining steadily for the past 30 years. More than 35,000 bees die in South India every month. Change in agricultural practices, use of chemical pesticides, land use change, and environmental pollution are killing these bees. The decline in bee population will affect various plants, animals, and even threaten our food security. Apart from collecting honey, bees have a significant role in the environment. They are responsible for more than 80% of pollination worldwide, which increases crop production. Without the bees, we won't have food on our tables. Back in Bengaluru, the population of Apis dorsata, an indigenous undomesticated bee species, has reduced by 90% due to uncontrolled urbanization. We know chose Apis serana and stingless bees. Both are Asiatic bees and commonly found in India. We started with one box, soon it became 10 boxes in our house and then we realized that at home we had no more place to keep the boxes. Undeterred, the family moved the bee boxes to their terrace garden. Slowly, they noticed a change. So we've always heard about pollination, we've read about it possibly, but what does it mean when you stay in a city? Honestly, for a person who's always been in a city, it means nothing to me. But when we got this box home, we saw what it did to our garden. We saw what we were doing to protect this entire ecosystem, right? We realized that this one step that we had taken was changing things around us. We saw a lot more fruits in our garden, vegetables coming up, uh, a lot of flowers that came in through the year. There are many like-minded people in Bengaluru who keep bees. Some of them keep it as a hobby and for some, it's a lucrative business. A single bee box contains a colony of around 2,000 to 6,000 bees. A box with a stand costs around 4,000 to 5,000 rupees. Around 2 to 5 kgs of honey can be harvested from a box in a time span of 6 to 8 months or one flowering season. The harvest rate can go as high as 8 to 10 kgs outside urban areas where there is abundant flora. The honey collected by stingless bees is considered medicinal and sells at much higher price. In fact, stingless bees do not sting because they don't have a stinger. But mind it, they can give you a very strong bite. They do bite. Daily maintenance and care are vital for the survival of a healthy bee colony. So we keep them safe from ants because ants get attracted to what's there inside the colony. 
uh, sometimes lizards come in some sometimes you know you have bigger wasps coming to you know feed on some of the things even feed on the bees that are there even birds come sometimes also keep an eye for any diseases that that might come in the city we rarely find uh, you know uh, honey bees getting affected by disease and the variety of honey bees that we have got which is apis serena is by nature very strong so it can take a, a lot of you know uh, the changes in weather and they are not very vulnerable so they are very strong species the decline in population of the apis dorsata has brought back attention to awareness surrounding bees in urban areas most of these bees build their hives in high rise apartments mistaking them for rock cliffs or big trees their original habitat now what happens here is that all these bees are killed with certain chemicals they are harmful in nature what is worse is that that honey is given to you in the name of pure honey but what we could do as an alternative educate the society and the apartment to keep the bee because like i mentioned they are migratory in nature and they will fly away after a few months but if you must get rid of them there are several eco friendly ways of doing that today the family of apiarists has more than 12 boxes with thousands of bees people ask me why do you do all of this because i have a full time job uh, so my simple answer to this is as a family we want to be close to nature as a family you know we want to learn more about the nature know how to deal with nature know how to coexist with nature and honey bees was a great lesson for us